Tell us about your meeting today with here at BCC. Well, I'm I'm a great fan of uh, of uh, Bristol Community uh, College and Bristol County Com Community College and of Jack Sprague and uh, and certainly Joan. Uh, whom we all adore. And uh, Jack is, I think, going to be a great resource for us in thinking about how best to do this because he's had experience uh, here at uh, BCC. He's also had experience at, um, uh, at uh, more centralized systems and ones that are, were sort of in between, yes. I guess I would say. So his, uh, his range of experience, I think, is going to be very helpful uh, to help us get the right solution uh, here. I will say that BCC is a, is a wonderful example of uh, having uh, of a community college that has very close uh, working relationships with the business community in the region where uh, it operates and uh, as a result is very um, uh, uh, very much if you will a model for what it is we'd like to see more of um, through the system as, as we uh, elevate the work of, uh, of workforce development. So this is the real world job experience you're talking about in your, in your uh, program? Yes, yes, colleges. yes. And that's one, that's, that's not the only mission of community colleges, but it's a central mission of community colleges and it's important uh, that we do the very best in terms of preparing people for the workforce uh, today because we have so many unfilled jobs and so many people in need of opportunities. Would the Board uh, of Education, handing it over to the Board of Education, would, you lose, would they lose local control of nope. this community college? No, nope. no. Nope. Well, first of all, we're not talking about handing it over yeah. to the Board of, uh, of Higher Education, but we are talking about um, both more resources and more accountability for, uh, mm -hmm. for aligning with the workforce development plan and the economic development plan for the whole Commonwealth. You may have heard this today that there, there, there's a great fear they're going to lose some local control. Sure. Uh, yeah, there's a great fear whenever there's something new uh, and where all the details haven't been uh, worked out, but we're going to do this together. Governor, just to change the topic, there's a, a new push or a continued push for primary seatbelt laws in Massachusetts. The state continues to rank extremely low in terms of seatbelt use. And yet we've paid almost a million and a half dollars over the last four years to PR firms. Have those failed campaigns been a waste of taxpayer dollars? I don't. I don't know what you're talking about in terms of the um, campaigns. I still think a, a primary seat belt, belt law is a good thing. It's a helpful thing in terms of our relationship with the Department of Transportation. I hope we'll get it done. The, camp, the, the money was given to two PR firms run by people who are close. I, to you. I believe you, but I don't know anything about it. In in terms of that law, I mean. Uh, Everyone says we should do it, but it never seems to get over the hump. Yeah, yeah. I've heard. Uh, I've heard we should. I've heard in the past we should have a uh, a more centralized community college system too. But we haven't gotten that done uh, yet. We we will, um, and I'd like to get it done sooner rather than later. Thank you. Can, can you comment on Kelly? On uh, on Kelly Timothy. Yeah, just a. Uh, what, she was a great partner, um, a great help on the uh, on the governor's council, and she served, I think, five governors uh, in her. In her time, is a very, very sad loss for the governor's council and a sad loss uh, for her family as well. What do you think, Mr. President, about the whole issue of local control as we were asking the governor uh, of these institutions? Well, uh, local control is very important to a community college uh, uh, as opposed to some of the other elements of higher education. Uh, I always say the community is our middle name. Uh, but um, I don't think that. Uh, the governor is saying we we'll take control away from the local community. Uh, he wants to strengthen it, and uh, he has some ideas about that. Where uh, further discussions are needed to clarify some of the ideas, but we're on the same page about workforce development and jobs and economic development in the Commonwealth. And uh, Bristol Community College has a, a wonderful role to play in that in, in terms of southeastern Massachusetts. Well, I wouldn't say we have no problems, but we the, there are need there's need for further clarification and some of the elements of it. But you know, I think uh, with all the discussion about local control, uh, we're losing sight of the fact that he has elevated the community colleges with great attention uh, across the Commonwealth, and he is providing more money. He's asking for more money for the community colleges to uh, do even more in terms of workforce development, which is so badly needed in the Commonwealth. So the question about uh, further clarification is uh, uh, we're, we're agreed on the ends and uh, just a matter of uh, fine-tuning the means. Would you say it was a productive meeting? 
Yeah, always very, very uh, uh, it cleared the air, and in some regards, uh, we're going to continue as the governor wants us to continue, and Secretary Paul Revel uh, wants to continue these conversations. Uh, we want to play a role not only in southeastern Massachusetts, but to have these conversations across the Commonwealth as well, not just in Boston, but to to help. Uh, I know my colleague presidents at the other community colleges are anxious also uh, to participate in these discussions. One of the first conversations he had about this. I think it's. Uh, first three or four yes he's visited some community colleges in the Boston area and uh, so we're very very honored that he comes uh, to us number one concern in this proposal for you sir what is the number one concern uh, I would say to protect the local flavor for the community college. I mean, it's not it's not clear yet that it is a concern for everyone, and uh, uh, I, I may be mistaken. That's why we need further clarification. But um, the number one. Um, happy a point about it is that workforce development uh, money and the expansion of the community college role and profile across the commonwealth.